Hey, how you guys doing? For this week's video, we're going to talk about um, Canon releasing their brand new webcam utility. Um, basically, it turns your um, DSLR, Canon DSLR, into a webcam, um, very similar to this one right here. And this had to do with the COVID-19 and everybody staying at home. And so Canon, uh, over the months, month, has uh, developed this application which actually uses the same API I believe is the EOS utility where you use the, use the USB cord in the computer you can actually take photographs adjust the camera remotely uh, in the studio environment so it uses very uh, basically the same APIs for that now and then you'll be able to use your uh, DSLR for applications like Zoom, Skype and maybe um, OBS Studio for instance uh, remote uh, conferencing for work or even family or friends. Um, now, unfortunately, I can't do that for two reasons. It, this is only for Windows 10 computers, PC computers. And uh, number two, um, my camera isn't supported. This is a Canon T3i. You need more of a recent um, Canon camera, even a Rebel series uh, for that to work, unfortunately. So I won't be able to test this and try it out my own. I was hoping to uh, show you some video of that. Unfortunately, I can't. But we can talk about it, and we're also going to talk about the pros and cons uh, with using your DSLR camera as a webcam. Um, while there might be some benefits, there's probably just as many negatives with doing that, which I'm going to talk about now. Okay, once you normally get your camera set up, you're going to use something like a US, uh, USB cable. In this case, with most Canon cameras, it's got to be a uh, USB, I think, uh, mini, I think they call it. I can't remember which letter it uses. And then you simply attach it to your computer uh, through your regular, uh, I believe it's a USB-A slot or plug. And then use your us uh, and using many popular applications, it will see your Canon DSLR as a webcam, and you could use it as usual. Now, one of the biggest or one of the uh, big negatives is it won't pick up audio from your DSLR. It will only pick up the video. Now, most Canon um, DSLRs do come with a built-in microphone. In this case, it's right here for little holes, um, which is really not a big. Um, too much of a big deal for two reasons. Uh, for one thing, uh, they often have very bad preamps. They're very noisy. And uh, besides, the Canon camera is probably going to be too far away to uh, get very good audio anyway. So you're going to need something close like a mic, a USB microphone, or something like that uh, to uh, get better close-in audio. Another thing you need to think about is Canon batteries. Um, you're going to be limited uh, on time by the amount of the battery power you have left. So you plan on running this for a couple hours or whatever, um, you're going to need more than one battery. Unless you want to go a different route and uh, you can use something like an adapter. Um, this is one that Canon puts out themselves. It is a little expensive, I believe $130. And you simply place this uh, uh, battery adapter in your battery compartment and you just plug it up into the wall right here. Now, another big con uh, with using uh, the Canon DSLR, uh, DSLR is um, it often leaves uh, what's called a heads-up display. Now, this is not necessarily using the USB cable, but using the built-in HDMI output, which in this case, I believe it's a uh, HDMI mini also, something. And so it often leaves the heads-up display printed on the screen along with your pictures, something like battery life, um, shows you the ISO and all those numbers going to be all over the screen, which kind of makes it a negative, doesn't make it uh, very much enjoyable for the uh, person watching. Um, so you need to think about that as well. If you're planning on using HDMI input through even a capture card, um, which um, actually Canon suggested for um, since they don't currently support Mac OS. But then it's going to leave uh, up the heads-up display. Another negative is you're also going to see, um, I believe the video coming in from the HDMI is going to be kind of cropped out. Um, I believe it's um, 720p video through uh, 
1080p frame so you're going to see a black bar going around the video unless you kind of go in there with certain programs you can do with OBS Studio and crop it in and that way you get a full picture without any black bar going all the way around or something like that another negative so I tend to shy away from using Canon DSLRs for webcams for that reason um, and now you have like really good USB webcams out there that the picture quality is excellent or really really out there really good and I've actually used them for web shows to um, high quality uh, 1080p HD webcams and got some marvelous results of course there are some negatives with using webcams as well you can't you can do very little adjusting as far as the brightness picture and most of it's all done automatically through the the webcam driver which is a big negative uh, obviously if you're using on even a mac os that even comes worse situation of course with using a canon dslr you do have a lot of uh, some cons um, it is highly adjustable you have a zoom lens on there um, autofocus um, you can uh, do the iso shutter speed and a picture profile on uh, one of these uh, vices a webcam so you do have some positives with this as well but um, I don't know it all depends so um, that those are my thoughts on using DSLRs for webcams and like I said unfortunately I, I uh, it won't work for me even if I did have a Mac OS version of the Canon webcam utility so uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later